in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this skirt with some worsted weight yarn because I feel like it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing compared to really fine mohair but if you want to make the skirt on the left then I would recommend using two strands of any fine yarn I specifically used two strands of Lana Grossa silk hair mohair to make the skirt on the left. And when it comes to how much yarn you're gonna need, it really depends on what yarn you choose to use and how long or short you're gonna make your skirt. So just to give you a reference, the pink mohair skirt on the left used about 80 grams of yarn and the skirt on the right with worsted weight yarn used about 150 grams of yarn. Now for our supplies, I will be using a six millimeter hook to make the waistband, and then I will switch to a 10 millimeter hook to make the rest of the body of the skirt. Like I said, I will be using worsted weight yarn in this video just because it's easier for you to see the stitches and what I'm doing. I ended up also using some scrap yarn, so further on I will show you how I switch colors. But once you have all of your supplies, we are ready to start the waistband. To begin our waistband, we are going to chain eight. Once you have chained eight, we're just going to chain one more stitch and that's gonna be our turning chain. Now we are going to single crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So normally we would go under both loops, but we are just going to be single crocheting into the back of the loop. So we're going to do that until we reach the end of the row. So we have one more left, we're going to single crochet into the back loop and then chain one and turn your work. And now we're just going to repeat what we just did. So we are going to single crochet into the back loops only. So this is basically the pattern that we're going to continue to repeat until our waistband is the correct measurement. And how we're going to figure out how long it needs to be is as we are crocheting this waistband, we are going to continue to try it on and see how it fits around our waist. We want it to not be too loose, but also not be too tight. So once your waistband is long enough, you can begin to wrap it around your waist and figure out what would be a comfortable fit for you. I like mine to have some negative ease so that it is fitting around my waist and not I don't have to worry about it falling down. I also don't want a drawstring for my skirt personally, but you can definitely make a drawstring if you want it to be a little bit more adjustable. So just figure out the most comfortable fit for you. By crocheting through the back loops, we are making a ribbed pattern, so this waistband will be stretchy, and just make sure that you can get it on and off easily and that it fits comfortably for you. I'm going to continue working this ribbed pattern until my waistband is my desired length, and then I will meet you guys back here and we will seam up our waistband and begin the body of our skirt.
Now that your waistband is the desired length, we are going to fold it in half and we are going to seam up the disconnected sides using the single crochet stitch. So I am just going to push my hook through one hole on each side and trying to make them like as lined up as possible, but I'm not doing it in any specific way. And then I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then I'm gonna insert my hook into the next stitch or opening that I see and line that up with the other side. Then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. And then I'm just going to continue this all the way down, just finding the matching like openings. I'm still trying to get crochet terminology, guys, so I apologize. But hopefully you can see and you understand what I mean. But I'm just going to continue single crocheting all the way down until both of our sides of our waistband are connected. And then we'll just tie that off and weave in our ends. Now we are on to the body of the skirt. So you're gonna to wanna to grab all of the yarn that you plan on using. You're also gonna to wanna to grab your bigger crochet hook. I'd recommend a 10 millimeter hook. That is what I'm gonna be using today. And we're gonna to wanna to find that seam that we just finished working up. And we're gonna begin here by just picking up some stitches. There is not a set number of stitches that you're gonna need to pick up. We really are just going to be trying to add stitches in every hole that we see. So to begin, we're gonna insert our hook into a stitch that's centered or as close to the seam as we can possibly get. And wrap our new yarn around. We're gonna wanna pull that through. And then I like to tie a little knot just to secure my work so nothing falls apart. So once we have one loop on our needle, we are going to insert our hook into the next space that we see. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna do this into the next stitch that we see. And every space after that, we're just going to be single crocheting into every space that we see until we reach the beginning again.
So we are approaching the beginning again. I'm just going to finish by doing one more single crochet. And now we are going to find that first stitch we did and insert our hook under both bars. And then we're going to pull through both loops. So now that we've single crocheted around our waistband, it should look a little bit like this. Since this is pretty much free-handed, you don't really need to worry about the exact number. Next, you're going to want to turn your work. And then we are going to chain three. Now for this next round, we're going to be doing a double crochet instead of single crochet. So yarn over and then insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now the same thing into the next stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert into that stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to keep repeating this pattern all the way until we reach the beginning of the round again. So I'm at the end of the round again, and I'm going to want to make sure that I skip those three turning chains that we did at the beginning and insert my hook into the first stitch. And then we're just going to pull through both stitches, creating a slip stitch. We'll turn our work and chain three again. We have now reached our first increase round. So we're going to just do the same thing we did last round and do a double crochet into the first stitch. But instead of moving on to the next stitch, we're going to do one more double crochet into that same stitch we just did. So now there should be two double crochets into that first stitch and we've just increased. So we are going to do that for every single stitch for this round and we're going to do two double crochets into each stitch and that will give our skirt that fluffy full look. So continue this round by doing two double crochets into each stitch and I will meet you when we are back at the beginning. All right, so we're back at the beginning again. I've got a few more stitches left, so I'm just going to do two double crochets into each of them. And then I think I'm gonna change colors. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go about that. So I'm going to switch colors on my very last stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then here is where I'm going to add my new color. So I'm just going to take the pink yarn and lay it over my hook. And then I'm just going to pull this color through. And then I like to secure my yarn so it's not falling all over the place. So I'm going to make a tiny little knot. And then I will get rid of the gray yarn until I'm ready to use it again. 
Now using my new color, I am going to slip stitch now that we are at the end of the round. I'm gonna make sure to skip those first chain threes and go through my first stitch. And my new color has been joined. So that's how I add a new color. And now we are going to begin our next round. So I'm going to start each round like I normally do by turning the work and chaining three. For this next round, we're not going to do any increases, so I'm just going to do regular double crochets into each stitch. And we're just going to keep doing regular double crochets all the way down, and I will meet you when we are back to the beginning of the round. So I'm at the end of my round again, and I chose to switch colors as well. So now I'm just making another slip stitch, and I'm gonna turn my work and chain three, as always. Now, for this new round, I'm thinking I'm going to do some more increases. So, like we did before for the increases, we are just going to be doing two double crochets into each stitch instead of one. And that will give me those lovely increases and make my skirt super fluffy. And after this, it really depends on your preferences of how you want to move forward. You can continue to make increases for each round and your skirt will be super fluffy and ruffled or you could stop doing increases which is what I am choosing to do after this last round and I'm just going to do a few more rows of regular double crochet and my skirt will be pretty fluffy but you can kind of switch it up and you can kind of choose when and how many increase rows you want to do. I will put the specific instructions for Everything that I'm doing for this skirt in the description if you want to follow along to a T, but just know that it is very customizable and you don't have to follow along exactly. You can kind of do whatever you feel like doing, use whatever yarn you want to use, and just play around and have fun with it. So after that last increase round, I decided to just do about three to four more rounds of plain double crochet. And I would recommend trying your skirt on as you go to figure out what length is best for you and what you prefer. But I did about three to four more rounds of regular double crochet just to add some more length to it. Once your skirt is the length that you desire, all that's left to do is just weave in your ends. And if you only used one color, you probably won't have many ends to weave in. But since I used scrap yarn, I've got quite a lot of weaving in to do. So that'll be fun. But that is basically the end of the tutorial. I will leave the written steps in the description and please reach out if you have any questions. I will be happy to help you out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful and please send me pictures if you decide to work on this project because I would love to see them. You can tag me on Instagram over at Michelle Nia. Since I'm putting this tutorial out for free, I think I'm allowed a little self-promotion. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a few of these fluffy skirts available for sale on a few different websites. You can go to redancy.com and you can find three different mohair skirts in small, medium, and 2XL. I also have one available on Basic Space, so I will link both of those websites down in the description. Also, if you'd like to check out my Kofi account, 
and donate or buy me a coffee. It would be greatly appreciated. All of the money will go to just growing my small business and getting more supplies. But I really appreciate you if you made it this far. I hope the tutorial was easy to follow along and helpful and happy crocheting.